Hello everyone, it's uh, Rad. Uh, welcome to my channel Radku Tarot and uh, this is going to be a disclaimer that needs to stand in front of every video I do. So if you this is the first time you are here, welcome. If not, and should you wish to proceed, well, you can fast forward into the reading that it is ahead of this disclaimer. But as a disclaimer, I need to advise you that this is a, a general reading. Um, of the representative star sign and for that reason because tarot is very personal divination tool and does require narrative which in personal readings appear to be your question or the situation that you are describing uh, the read the general reading may or may not resonate entirely with uh, with your situation and if it resonates that great if it doesn't i do apologize for that but sh i'm yeah, and I wish you the best, you know, with some, with the situation that you're trying to cope with. But um, if you wish to proceed with the um, personal readings or uh, you wish to follow me on Facebook or on YouTube, you know, all, all of that or visit my website, all of that is going to be written in the description the box down below. And uh, thank you for watching in advance and uh, now lay back and uh, enjoy the video. All right, so this is going to be uh, Scorpio Sun, Moon and as well Rising guys for a monthly tarot reading for December 2019. I'm so much looking forward to it. For those who doesn't know me, I am a Scorpio and uh, kind of eager to see what the cards has in store for us. Uh, so bear with me a couple of seconds here to give them a good ripple and uh, we're going to get into it. All right, so the first one, which stands for the topic of our month, and we are off a good start here. We do have the 10 of pentacles, followed by the challenges that we will have to overcome throughout the month. That will be the eight of pentacles, followed by the third one, which stands for the intentions or the best way how you can tackle with things throughout the month. That is going to be the uh, prince of uh, swords or known in the traditional deck as the uh, knight of swords. Then it is the lesson that we have to learn here that is going to be the um, Six of Pentacles and then the last one that stands for the Wu, the uh, energies that are to support us throughout the months. Uh, we do have the Hermit. Uh, so the most important card here it is the Hermit. Uh, I don't know if I should start from it though. Mm. No, I will start from the very beginning here. Um, so bear with me guys, uh, I hope that everything is going to make sense at the end. So we do have the Ten of Pentacles and that thing is accompanied by the Five of uh, Swords. Uh, that's fantastic. We do have a passive enemies and that points that we can really exceed our limits this time around in the month of uh, of December. And not to mention that these are very, very strong cards for a reconciliation. Um, in other words, uh, not, not necessarily reconciliation in romantic aspect. It's about a trust reconciliation, okay? It's like um, someone uh, understood that they were wrong and they come back begging you for forgiveness, let's say. But again, it's not reconciliation based on love. It's reconciliation based on trust. But the best thing that happens in this month it is that we go out of the dependency based on the exceedings of our limits and um, probably that will be through a monetary gains uh, very well found investments for example getting to know the right people the uh, the reasons for it are uh, countless all right but the thing is that throughout the month of december with those two cards um, it looks like that we're going to find our right place beneath the sun, if you will, or our right spot in which we're going to feel very cozy, very confident, and we can go for a great staff establishing, for example, family, making up a, a private business, exceeding our private business, all right, making good progress career-wise. The thing is that our investments are going to pay off in a very, very good way throughout the month of December. Now, the other card here is going to be the challenge, and that is going to be the Eight of Pentacles. 
eight is catalyzed by the six of wands and that is a bit of a challenging thing to be honest we do have a, a passive neutrals in this particular um how can i say it uh, position and that is our crave for recognition okay and uh, that recognition may not come in the extent that we are expecting it to come and therefore we may kind of like adopt a uh, a standpoint that everybody around us it's um how can i say it um well the word was in my mind just one second ungrateful it's ungrateful toward our uh, intentions right toward our performance if you will or toward our presence in general so challenging wise here is like um how can i say it to be put on a pinnacle, not to expect to be put on a, a pinnacle. Say, you know, someone comes and begs for your forgiveness. You don't have to torture them for it, all right? Because that is going to be a tempting thing and you have to overcome that challenge, which is the temptation to be over-recognized than you have to be. But the bigger challenge than that is going to be the conscientiousness we have to throw into our work. And that is kind of understandable here. I had to be a bit more cautious. That is kind of understandable because like I said, we are gonna fall into a very comfortable and cozy spot and we may become careless, right? Uh, but uh, if we want to uh, execute a, a plan that took a long time to develop up until this point, we need to uh, kind of like think it one more time thoroughly before we initiate instead of be um, overconfident and cocky about it. So the other card here points intentions, uh, how we should face all that throughout the month of December. We do have the Knight of Swords with the Four of Pentacles. Uh, these are a active... Um, enemies and we shouldn't take anything for granted those are the intentions whatever we are facing no matter how secure it does look like okay we always have to do what it is necessary to ensure its secure future if you will uh, because uh, the those two cards are pointing that there are still dangers lurking around the corner that are menacing and are threatening in regards to our cozy place here to be ruined apart. Additionally to that, uh, those two cards here are pointing that we can always do things better, all right? And we have to lean toward our, um, how can I say it, um, intellectual agility, if you will, our uh, sharp mind as well, so we can make a well-found decisions, but those decisions always have to be consulted with our um, emotions as well, if you will. So in other words, we should not do what we don't like to do because we do have the luxury here to be in a, a comfortable position the other card points to the lesson that we need to learn or that we are to learn throughout the month of december that is going to be the six of pentacles and it is accompanied here by the hangman oh that's a big lesson guys um it uh, simply points that everything comes with its time right whatever our goal is it kind of lingers in the void, okay? Waiting its time to come around so it can happen. Therefore, we need to learn how to go with the flow. That is um, the point of those two cards. Going forward with it, that will allow us to take on things in a much more uh, milder or lighter fashion. Uh, fashion. It's kind of like not taking everything personal here, all right? Additionally to that, uh, we are going to learn how to make things in multiple ways, okay? One way doesn't work out, that's fine. We have a plan B, all right? And uh, by that plan B, we this time around achieve a, a progress. Uh, but above everything else, uh, we are going to learn how to become creative. And that is something I lack, all right? So I'm pretty much looking forward to the month of December uh, because with the cozy place we're going to find ourselves in, we have a lot of room to experiment without jeopardizing anything uh, around as long as our decision making is on point, okay, and it's well found. And the last card here that represents uh, the um, energies which are to support us, that is going to be the Hierophant card accompanied with the 
Knights of uh, Wands or represented by the King of Wands in the traditional deck. And we do have an, an um, passive neutrals and that is about a new substantiality if I, if you will so it's kind of like a new go energies that are to support us are to uncover a new fulcrum for us to have in the back of our minds and whenever we are secured enough right now we can have something else to go for something else that keep us thinking something else that keep us on going and uh, that's a uh, fulcrum it's going to be very substantial that's why i said sub uh, substantiality but above everything else those energies will help us not to be um i would say reckless and do stupid things in favor of results so in other words whatever we do we always gonna ask ourselves does the the means justifies the cause does the mean justifies the the goal at the end and um, we are gonna find the right measures of how to you know move on forward and achieve what we want to without overkilling it so that being said uh, oh one more one last thing scorpio those energies are also gonna make us more wise and more intelligent throughout the month so you're going to even uh, surprise yourself with, 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 with what kind of things you can come up with throughout the month as a solutions to uh, your problems. So that being said, Scorpio, this was uh, your monthly tarot reading for the month of December 2019. I hope you enjoyed it and you liked it, guys, and we're going to see each other around. Until then, bye.